Right, welcome back. So we have with us today a lady who works with ADB. Her name is Ms. Sukuman Panache. She's been in this country for more than 10 years and she works for the Treasury Department of ADB. So let's meet Ms. Sukuman Panache. And our other guest is a lady called Sasitara Moreno. Take note of the last name, Moreno. She's half Filipina and married to a Filipino. She lives and works in Nueva Ecija. And let's find out what she does for a living in the provinces of the Philippines. Welcome to Expat Insights. How do you say that? Sawadika. Uh, Sawadika. Yes. So Sawadika to this show. All right. So good evening. And let's start with you. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. tell me about yourself. What brought you here? Oh, uh, what brought you here is the Asian Development Bank. And um, in a way, it's also the economic crisis in 1997. Uh, the, after the crisis, I felt that I would like to do more for the region and I do not want to work for the private sector anymore and then at that time ADB and the World Bank has started restarted lending to ADB to Thailand and also to other Asian countries hit by the crisis and I I thought that okay this is the place that I think I could use my skills to contribute to the poverty reduction and to I applied the region, to, the to the region yes of course Asia and the Pacific and then I applied and I got the job and then I moved to the Philippines and Sasitara okay. what brings you here hmm. well I came hmm. here um, in 1996 I took up my college in Assumption College hmm. and oh after, really yes and after I graduated went home and then what brought hmm. me back here that I felt like I want to make a Philippine make the Philippines my home because I got married to my husband and then hmm. we live in Nova Ecija Oh, glad you married your own husband. Yes. Okay, and so uh, six years in this country, yes. and now you live and work in Nueva Ecija. Yes. Well, tell us what you do there. Uh, there uh, my yeah. husband manages the family business, Aliaga Farmer's Rice Mill. We yeah. mill rice, Aliaga Farmer's Rice Mill. Okay. We mill rice and uh, we sell as a wholesale retail, and then we distribute to our stores, the rice stores in um, Luzon also in Manila. So uh, tell me, what do you like about living in the Philippines? Well, there's a lot to say because I really love it here. Uh, mm -hmm. I like the fresh air in the province. That's why I love to live in the province. I have fresh air there, no traffic. And I can do shopping wherever I want. I can go to Pampanga, coming from the Vesija. The road is good, going up north. I like it. I love the food here. Oh, you like it more than Thai food? Mm -hmm. Well, I also love Thai food. But um, Filipino food is also nice. I, re I adapted myself here. How about the countryside? Is it any different there? Well, the rural um, side of Thailand and Philippines. That I'm more familiar with the country, uh, with the city, because I grew up in Bangkok, from the city of Bangkok. So I'm not very familiar with the countryside. I just go to the beach and uh, go for a trip. But here, that I've adjusted myself to the province, and I really love it. It's just like paradise. Mm -hmm. You can do anything there. Mm -hmm can build a house, you can build a farm, and you just live freely, you know, without pollution. Mm -hmm. Really? No traffic. Isn't that, isn't that the same in Thailand? I think so, but I'm sorry. I'm you not grew up in the yes, city. Yes, I grew up in the city, so I'm not familiar with the life in the province, because I don't live <laughs> in the province. You, Ms. Sukuma, did you grow yes. up in the provinces of Thailand no, or in the city? No. Too? I, I'm also a city girl. Actually, I just found out that we came from the same uh, school. Same school. Oh, really? Yes, really? Yes, How yeah. long ago was that? Oh, um, let's not talk you about it. Yes. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, all right. Yeah. Same school, mm. so it, was that an English medium school or a Thai no, medium school? No, uh, in Thailand, during our time, uh, all the Thai students have to study in Thai medium. Yeah. What do so, you like about the Philippines? Oh, um, many things. Also, the natural beauty. I think that's the, bo the, 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 the things that I like the best about the Philippines. Whenever. Even in, in Manila, you could see that you, you can see the sea, you can see a lake, and you can also see the mountain when the, on the clear days, and it's so nice. And when you get out of Manila, all the, the terrains, the, the sea, the lake, the mountains, the scenery is so nice everywhere. Is it and not the same in Thailand? Doesn't it have the same natural beauty? 
it's different, uh, very similar but different. Like when I was working in Bangkok, my office was on the 30th floor. So I look outside the window, I could see very far, but all I could see is flat land. It's all flat everywhere in, ba in Bangkok. Out of Bangkok. Yes, yes. Hey, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me change yes. the topic a bit. We are coming to close of the okay. show. No? I want to ask you something. Okay. If, just think about this. Now that you've lived in both the countries, no? what is it that you would like to blend and synergize? What is it, what Thai thing or what Thai discipline would you like to incorporate in the Filipino culture? And what Filipino culture or what Filipino discipline would you like to incorporate in the Thai culture? Where do you think there is synergies and what would you build? I think you are asking about common thread, right? Yeah, I think yeah. this is what uh, Thais and the mm -hmm. Filipinos share. Mm -hmm. we, we take it take easy, it take it lightly. We don't really mind much. We are not angry people. The same. Oh, you're cool, huh? <laughs> we are cool, but... <laughs> but you still have Muay, Muay yes. Thai. Yeah, you're oh, <laughs> That's where we... <laughs> the violence. Use All our right. energy. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, good, it's been good meeting you, Sasitara and Ms. Panache. I have a little poem that you gave me. Yes. And if you want, we'll run that poem. Can you read it to us? May I have a parting words? Before yes, yes, this? sure. Yeah. What I'm saying about the Thai, uh, Thai tourism industry, what I yes. feel is that the Philippines have so much potential. Uh -huh. Oh, all right. I, That's true. I, I couldn't wait to see the day that um, the infrastructure in the tourism industry is developed there's so much to offer in this country. I've been to many places here in the I think they also need to come together as, a, as an I organization. So what she's doing with Rice yes. Millers, yes. I think the tourism industry Put can come together. Yes, too. yes. So let's do your poem. The one you said is one of the best mm -hmm. Thai poems and it's going to come up on screen. It's about mm -hmm. 60 seconds. So we leave you to read it. All right. So she'll just put it on. This is by who? This is... Okay, tell us about it a bit. This is by very famous one of the very famous Thai poets, mm -hmm. like maybe 300 years ago. Wow. And it was translated by uh, Mamrashawong Seni Pramod, who was an ex- What's the name again? What is the name? Mamrashawong is a title, the royal right, title, right. Seni yeah. Pramod. Yeah. And he was an ex-prime minister and a yeah. lawyer, so he, he, tr he did a very good job in, in translating this okay. poem. So, so um, I, I'll read it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Fathoms deep through the seas may be. Measurable are the seas in depth. Scaled can mountains be in height. Immeasurable is the depth, this heart of man. Very nice. And the second one? Would you like to? Sasita, you want to read that? Uh, okay. Born men are we all and one. Brown, black, by the sun cultured. Knowledge can be won alike. Only the heart differs from a man, from man to man. Lovely. And okay. this is another one. Yeah, this go is ahead. about uh, the little frog in the small world. Yeah. So little yet so much one knows. So little yet so much one knows. Like a frog which grows in a puddle. Okay. Knowing not oceans so ever vast becomes befuddled by its small world. So people can become small-minded, that's what it's saying. Yes, oh, there's yes. so much to it. Yes. All right, Sasitara Moreno and Ms. Sukuman Fanashat, it's been a gentle pleasure meeting two ladies from Thailand, and I'm happy that you came by and happy you live in this country on behalf of the Filipino people. Uh, Sawadi? Sawadi? Sawadi Krap. Mabuhai is better. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so welcome Mabuhai. to the Philippines, and mm -hmm. we'll uh, talk some more after the show.